<clears throat> All right, so this is how to install uh, Quantlib via uh, Mac OS, so you can use it with Xcode. So I'll I'll leave these links here, but um, the first thing you want to do is install uh, Homebrew. So you just want to copy this and put it into terminal. Hit enter and then hit enter to continue you're gonna have to put in your password and it should run you should get these so now it's done hit control um, there it has installed so hit control L and go back to uh, quantlib.org. Um, they have the, the instructions here, but you need you need some additional steps uh, to get it to work with Xcode. So next we need to uh, install boost. So you want to type this in to terminal. So hit brew install boost. And it downloads. Let's get it. Let's get it to download. There, it is done. Now the next step is to download Quantlib. So we you want to copy this. Um, paste it onto here. One thing to note though is that the current version is 1.10 so you go ahead and change that. Oh, okay. So we have to actually download it. So hit this here. And it will download into your downloads folder. Um, <clears throat> what I did was I, I actually dragged this into my documents. If I could drag and drop it, put it into documents. And you'll see why in a minute. So go back to that page and copy this but change it to instead of 1.8 change it to 1.10 go to terminal change it to 1.10 well, actually uh, you have to change the working directory so hit cd uh, tilde forward slash documents now you're in the documents folder. So go back to so we can unzip it, unraw it, I guess. Hit enter, and it should have. So now we have this folder here. Okay, so now we want to go into that folder. So that's what this is CD. You want to go to quantlib. Dash one dot ten, and now we're in that folder. So now I have um, I have Mac OS ten point eleven installed here. So I'm just gonna highlight this and copy it into a Word document. Because I have to change it. I just have to change this bigger a little bit. So the version is actually 10.11, not 10.9. Copy it, and you're going to paste that into terminal.
now it's running. <clears throat> so after that's done, uh, keep going. And you're gonna make, you're gonna run make and sudo make install. So we want to type that in. Make and sudo make install. And now it's gonna run. This takes the longest uh, to run. It'll probably take about, let's say, like an hour. So I'll go ahead and pause it here, and then I'll, let you, I'll show you guys what to do next after this whole thing installs, all right? All right, so after about an hour, finish downloading everything, you want to copy this, the appendix. Hit copy, paste it on the terminal, hit enter, and then... um open up Xcode I'll create a new project go to Mac OS command line tool hit next uh, let's call this per new or let's call this equity option the options language is C++ hit next save it onto your desktop and now this should open up. Um, if not, then go to the um, the title of the program. Hit general. You want to go to link frameworks and libraries. Hit plus. Hit add other. Um, go to command shift go. You want to type in user local uh, lib. You go. You want to look for. Let's see. Let's put it in the list. Let's look for lib quant lib. Let's see what comes up. And you want to highlight this one. Lib quant lib dot zero dot d y l i b. Hit open. And now we should have it here. Now go to build settings, go to all, scroll down, scroll down, go to looking for let's see, I'm looking for headers. Give me a sec. Okay. Go to. Mm. Give me a sec here. Go to search paths. And now go to uh, library search paths. Let's scroll down. Double click here. Hit add. Hit forward slash user local include. Now click elsewhere. Should have that. And then for header. Double click here, hit add user local include. Oh, I'm sorry for library. Double click that. I'm going to remove it. It's user local lib. 
All right. Forgot a forward slash there. Okay, Every, leave everything else as is. Go to your main CPP. Um, I'll leave the link, but you have to go to quanlive.org reference slash examples. And here we're just going to write equity option. You want to copy this code just to make sure everything's working. Copy that into your main CPP. Now everything's copied. Okay, for frameworks, um, this worked for me, so just go to Finder, Command Shift G, go to your user local lib. Oh, sorry, user local include. You see this QL? Just drag it onto frameworks. And then this comes up. I just hit copy items if needed. Hit finish. And now you have all the headers here. Okay, so go back to your main CVP. And hopefully it runs. Now let's give it a try. It's compiling and it says build succeeded. So let's open this up and this is our output. So here the defaults you could get it, you could go ahead and switch this up. Um, it's under here set updates. You could put you could plug in your own. Um, you can plug in your own for all these underlying strikes, dividend yield, first free rate. I just left it as is. So here, this is our output, and you see it does work. So this is pricing they put. Um, that's expiring May 17th. The underlying price is 36. Strike is 40. Risk free rate is 6%. 0% for dividend yield. The volatility is 20%. And here we get the prices. Or European, Bermudan, and American options using a variety of methods. So there you go. You could try others too here on Quanlib. Uh, you could try Bermudan swaptions, uh, bonds, callable bonds, CDS. These are just examples, but you could use a variety of your own if you have any. So there you go. This concludes the video. Please let me know what you think. And thanks for watching.